Many of you just paid your personal property taxes, meaning the end of the year deadline in the state of Missouri. But in the city of St. Louis, residents don't write their checks out to a government office, but rather an individual. One five on your side viewer wanted to know why and whether it's safe to send money with someone's name on it. The Verify team finds out. Ellie Bowen asks, why is it that paying taxes in the city, we are told to write a check addressed to a person, the collector of revenue, Gregory Daly. She added that sometimes writing a check in someone's name instead of their business means it could be stolen. What safeguards does the city of St. Louis have to safeguard against embezzlement? Let's verify. Is it true that writing a check directly to the collector of revenue makes it vulnerable to theft? Our sources, the head of the Missouri County Collectors Association and the City Collector of Revenue's Office. The St. Louis City Collector's Office hears this question a lot. A representative told the Verify team, according to Missouri state law, checks made out to a collector are considered payable to the collector's office. Historically, collectors handled public money through their personal accounts. As far as county collectors go throughout the state, uh, several of them, I suspect, still use that method of uh, payment directly to them. And most of that is just basically steeped in just tradition. McCollum added that collectors are bonded and that makes them personally liable for the money they handle. If something goes missing, a surety can force the collector to pay with their own money. So if a check ended up in a personal account and wasn't turned over to the city, there are ways to get it back. The St. Louis City Collector's Office told us that collectors are the most audited department in local government. So we can verify, property tax checks in Missouri can be made out in the collector's name. It does not make the money more vulnerable to theft. So what if you're still uncomfortable writing a person's name on your tax check? You have a few options that don't require writing a check at all. A lot of collectors have online or telephone payment methods. McCollum says the safest way is to pay in person, if possible, and then keep a copy of your paid tax receipt for your records. What can I verify for you? Reach out to me on Facebook, Twitter, or email verify at kstk.com.